Special Edition Extreme Juggling Podcast in color, video, audio, explosions, live from the WJF4 in Hartford, Connecticut. Not really. This is Extreme Juggling Podcasting. We're here at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford, Connecticut. We just flew in and uh, we're checking out the World Juggling Federation. Yeah, it looks like they've got a pretty pretty decent crowd this year. I'd say I'd say so. Yeah, it's I mean, I've, good. I've always thought this is one of the bigger conventions. In yeah, the world. And it's and definitely it, uh, living up to that claim. It definitely is, and uh, <laughs> people look like they're coming from all over. Yeah, these are yeah. Um, people yeah, dress so very kind of, different in, they do, in they different do. parts of the world. Um, so, kind of yeah. impressed. Now we're going up. Ooh. Uh, to check out. Oh, what's going on? I still, I'm not sure where the where the main hall is. Uh, right, I, be, I think it's this up. this floor. Yeah, this guy. Well, uh, so no. let's. I don't let's, know if that's Toby. I can't. I can't. Quite it might out. be. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, he. I think he's from China. Um. So let's talk about who we're. What our plans are. Okay. We're gonna, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna interview uh, Vova Galchenko and Josh Horton. Uh, you may know. A student yeah, of, Josh of Vova, is a student yeah. of Vova's. That's gonna be good. And uh, we're gonna interview a technical juggler, uh, Michael Karras. Yeah, yeah. This is actually, I think, I, it, I'm not sure. This might be his first W WJF. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's definitely well known. He I'm is. Still, I'm surprised I haven't seen him here yet. Actually, there yeah. A lot, yeah. Of, a lot of familiar faces, but I'm. Uh, yeah, like I think that's Aaron Steve. Yeah, looks like that cake. might be Vova, but I know. Well, um, either way. Uh, Try and maybe make our make our way to the main convention room now. Yeah, yeah. Let's, all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Look, like, Toby's okay. going in there. Okay. So. Great. Well, I think I think that's good. We should be able to uh, to, to cut to our uh, our first interview. Yeah. So we've got um, got Volva and uh, and Josh. All right. Yeah. Let's get to it. Let's go with that. All right. Sorry about the confusion earlier. Now we are at uh, the WJF convention. Finally, yeah. I'm waiting to get here. So awesome. here we go. We'll, we'll see what's what's up in here. Yeah. This will be pretty awesome. Yeah. Oops. Oh hey, yeah, no. Hey, no video here. What? Come on, no, dude. No. But no, no. extreme juggling park. This is extreme you know, juggling park. I'm telling you, the public has a right to know. Come on. You can't. You can't oh, be videoing here. All right. Screen. Well, Sorry. that didn't really work. So, um, right. We'll we'll be back in a little bit. So, Vova. Yeah. Do you think it's a coincidence that juggling is an anagram for new jiggle? Um, that's stupid. I don't even know how to respond to such stupidity. Okay, never mind about that question. Uh, let's just move on. I understand you're training a student for WJF Yeah, yes I am. I'm very excited about it, yes. So tell me, Josh, what's it like to work with Lola? It's really good. He expects a lot out of me, but I think that's why I've gotten so good so quickly. So does he call you out when you suck really bad? Yeah, when I'm struggling, he lets me know. Is Josh a good student? I would say so, yes. So what does Vova think of you as a person? I think that as a person and a student, he really likes me. We've gotten really close over the last few months. Really? Yeah. I have a quote here from Josh, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Vova's haircut is stupid. I hate looking at his stupid face and his fat ass. Wow, he really said that, hasn't he? Wow. I can't believe he said that about my ass. I, I, I can't believe I can't believe he said that. I, I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go juggle. Okay, look, I didn't really want to play this for you, but well, here. Is Josh a good student? No, Josh is just stupid. Josh is stupid. I'm gonna go talk to that jerk.
right, we're getting some opinions from the general public, so just wondering, what is your favorite extreme sport? Sport juggling. Sport juggling. Sport baseball. Sport juggling. Great, great. Okay. Now I want to know, what do you think the WJF is doing to change the general public's perception of juggling? I think they're trying to make it more fashionable. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think so. I completely really agree with that. Yeah, yeah. More fashionable for the younger generation coming up. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, no question. I have no idea what that is. It's reaching out to a new, broader audience. It, it really is. It really is. All right, we're here at the WJF with Michael Karras. Uh, thanks for doing this interview with us. No problem. So. I was just curious, um, how has it affected your juggling now that you only have your left arm? Right. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, actually. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, you know, at first it was a little upsetting. You know, I know that I said I'd give my right arm to be on this podcast, but I kind of was joking. Well. But I'm rolling with it, you know. I've gotten much better at four balls, five balls in one hand. It's coming along. Um, I've kind of decided that I might want to become one of those foot jugglers now. Oh, right. You know, like the Umbrella Girl mm -hmm. in um, Drelion. Yeah. Uh, I've so seen yeah, it. I'm going down. I'm going down that route now. Cool. That's foot great. Juggling. Yeah. Hmm. So um, I know. I know one thing. Uh, that we've talked about before is you have a you have a few pet peeves when you're in the gym. Would you care to mm -hmm. share some of those? Maybe maybe now people won't bother you as much, you know, when they see you at your next convention. Yeah, well, you know, it's sort of that whole oh, you know, is it too soon to talk about it or but right? Yeah. Um. Well, I have a few pet peeves, and I don't know if you guys will agree with them, but to me, a, a juggling festival um, is a social event. You know, right. so it always well, surprises mm. me. No. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think if, if everyone's listening to their iPods and juggling against well, the wall... Well, actually, that's exactly where I was right. going. Well, that's the ideal convention as far as right. I'm concerned. What? People wearing iPods? Yeah. yeah. No, but see, that's what annoys me, is you go into these conventions where everyone's supposed to be, like, getting together, sharing ideas, and people are, like, in the corner with these earbuds in their ears, you know, pretending that they're not even, like, aware of other people. Oh, I'm going to change my answer. I think, uh, I, think I, I, I don't like people who have iPods because that's what our guest said he doesn't like. Yeah. All right, I'll go I'm going to agree with no, you. No, I mean, you're allowed to argue with me. I mean, isn't that... That's a good point. I am allowed to want. argue yeah, if, you, if, if you think we can. But it's, then, yeah, it's yeah. just one of those things that bothers me is, you know, people juggling with their iPods on. You know, it's just one of those things, like, I do that sometimes when I'm alone practicing, but at a convention, it's, that's not what it, it's not about practicing in the corner necessarily, but... That's just me. All right, so how do you uh, both think that the WJF has changed the you, the general public's perception of juggling? Oh, it's definitely made it uh, definitely hit on really out there sport with all the bigs, all the basketball, football, I always change right to the juggling. Exactly, yeah. Per, um, I completely agree. And now I had a question for you. Um, as a cat, do you feel uh, discriminated against? There's a, I mean, there's a women's division, a uh, junior's division. An advanced division. Yeah, an advanced division. First of all, the box. Oh. And I don't juggle. But do you think there should be an extreme cat juggling division? As long as I'm not juggling the cats. Okay. It seems like a lot of the artistic jugglers that I've seen seem to have a message in their juggling. and are trying to, you know, help other people. I'm just wondering what your opinion is here. What do you think juggling has done to help world peace? Not enough yet. But we can change that. Uh, I've actually created a new website, um, jugglingforworldpeace.tv, and uh, .com was taken. So, um, but what we're planning to do is actually fill bean bags with sunflower seeds and drop them so you can in third world countries. Plant the seeds of juggling. You can plant the juggling seed. Right. Exactly. And uh, you know, whenever you know beanbags tend to rip open after a while, you've got yourself a meal. Hmm, that's true. And I think that's just something that I can do to give back. And you, what what do you think is the most extreme sport? <laughs> Alright, well uh, thanks guys for your answers. Appreciate it.
Yeah, wake up. Wake, wake up. Okay. Tape has changed. Okay, so we're, we're back. Finally. Now, uh, we wanted to ask, uh, what is the weirdest routine you've ever performed? Oh, hands down, the weirdest routine I've ever performed is the punching bag routine. I did this at the Syracuse convention. Uh, I headlined it. It's the only convention I've ever headlined, and uh, this is probably why I'll, why I'll never be asked to headline a convention again, is because I did a routine with five punching bags that the idea was cool when I thought about it. I did like sight swaps by punching the bags and then they would come back, and it kind of worked when I did it in my basement, but then when I got to the stage and uh, didn't work quite as well. I did it to a more. Was it just you just song. had a different audience on, on stage than you no, did in the No, it was basement. the fact that um, a few of them on the trip had gotten holes in them, so they weren't bouncing back as well. So a few of them were sort of gimpy. That is a weird routine. Yeah. Yeah. We're asking people, at the uh, general public, their opinions about sports, and wanted to ask you what is your favorite extreme sport? Well, I think extreme sport podcasting is so much better than actual extreme sports. Actually, I, I, yeah, I'd I have can't to agree with that. That's too, actually I my mean, favorite, too. Yeah. I, it used to be sport juggling, but now. Yeah. So, I may have to change my mind. Now, uh, I, I noticed your cat. Do you find. Noticed you're a cat. Uh, do you find that your cat like reflexes help you when you're juggling? Actually, not quite a cat. It's more of a monkey. Oh, well then, uh. Um, do you find that your monkey-like reflexes help you when you're juggling? Well, of course. I mean, uh, monkeys can do everything. They can grab the fruit, and then, you know, they can grab the fruit with their feet, too. So, uh, speaking of routines that you are doing over and over again, um, what is, uh, what is this I hear about, a uh, Smiling Sam and the Ice Cream Man? Or Smiling Sam the Ice Cream Man? Or How Smiling Sam the Ice Cream Man. Yes. How did you hear about that? Well, how couldn't we? I mean, this is only one of the most groundbreaking routines. Most talked about routines. In really? Juggling, yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone's it's seen even bigger video. than Barnacle Bill? Well, I, I don't even know what that is. Barnacle so, yeah. Bill wishes he had the kind of well, following uh, Smiling Sam Smiling does. Sam does. Yeah. Well, um, it's a character that I'm playing at Lake Compounds, which is an amusement park near uh, Hartford. Right. Um, Very but I wouldn't say it's really groundbreaking. I mean, I do a beanbag routine, I do three to six beanbags, I do some club juggling with clubs that are painted to look like ice cream cones, um, and I do some bounce juggling, but I mean, it's fun, it's a job for the summer, but I wouldn't call it necessarily my, my masterpiece or anything. Yeah. Okay. All right, so our first question is, um, what do, uh, what's your favorite extreme sport? I'd have to say that it's got to be sport juggling. We love sport juggling. No, no, no. Australian dick wrestling. You get two men in a ring, they just get completely naked, you get right in. That's, there's nothing better than that. So uh, what is so special to you about juggling? Uh, well, when I first started like performing, I did magic. Mm -hmm. um, which I, I kind of was in for, into for a while, but the thing I, li I like about juggling more than magic is that everything you see is real. There's no illusion, you know? Like, mm. for example, uh, can I borrow your rings for a second? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Right like, for example, if I'm doing uh, a ring trick, you know, like, everything you see is what you get, you know? Like, for example, I've, I've done some, like, new ring manipulation stuff in my routines, where I go like this a lot, or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's like, it, you know, it's, it's easy stuff, but the point is you're not doing any sort of illusion. It's right. all real. If you right. see it's it, just it's just throwing happening. and catching, and yeah. that's, that's what you're doing, so, and it's just, yeah. you're not tricking the audience. Exactly, thinking, there's no tricks. Everything you see is real. Right, the so, prop is what That's why is. I gave up on magic and uh, switched to juggling. I, that's a good move. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you guys demonstrate Australian dick wrestling? Oh, I, you know, that's <laughs> on. Is 
So, uh, Michael, what are your plans um, for the future after after a smiling Sam, the ice cream man? That's um, gonna be hard to top. Man. It really is. Yeah. You think? Yeah. It'll, it'll create a lot of opportunities, I imagine. Mm. Really. Well, you know, I hope so. I, I had uh, a woman come up to me the other day, and um, offer me a gig when she saw smiling Sam. Right. Uh, she's having a bar mitzvah in oh. January, so uh, I'm thinking about you know doing some menorah juggling. You know, that could maybe work. some that yarmulke could work. manipulation. Yeah. So I'm working That's on some new stuff. I don't think has been really explored. I, 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 think I, I can't think of that. I, I, I can only think of about five yarmulke jugglers, and they've barely mm -hmm. broken the surface. I agree. Um, and then the, the ultimate plan is to sort of move to New York City and um, right. and sort of live there, audition there, because, you know, I'm an actor as well, so I'm going to audition right. for theater stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Probably, uh, let's see, you know, audition for some circuses, send in my promo sh my promo tapes to uh, cruise lines and so right. forth. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the works, you know, but I'm really excited to move to New York. Oh, well, good. Good. My back is so round and a thousand plus. She plus. know I'm turned off, so she let me. Uh -huh. I can't talk. Answer to my man. Got a bitch's right hook and a cold neck hand. It's hood. I'm just pimping his pen. I'm dope, but only f with light skin. I'm a hoe. Oh. Oh. Face in the streets. She right in the fields, but not a Chevy six strike. Damn. Never, never. Money I'm chasing. No toleration for broke no conversation. conversation. For broke Don't do too much walking in airports. Can't scuff. We all boss. We don't play too much. And my hand turned off, but I don't say too much. Keep tags on everything so you can see how much. See that?